Hello and welcome to Ron Whitlock Report's program called Meet the Candidate. And on this particular issue, we're not talking about a candidacy per se. We're talking about a venue tax for South Padre Island. So we're specifically talking to the 700 plus Masomenas voters on South Padre Island because what they do and vote on November the 8th on Election Day on Tuesday will determine a lot about what happens here on this island where we're coming to you from here at Lewis and Backyard because a venue tax is being sought both by South Padre Island and by Cameron County. And who's going to get that 2% of predominantly money spent here on the island? That's going to be determined by how voters vote. We have with us on the telecast today Courtney Hayden. Welcome to the program, Thanks. Courtney. And Stephanie Wilson. Welcome to the program. Both Stephanie and Courtney were involved in a citizens committee that was involved with talking to the community here on South Padre Island and explaining to the voters and in actually coming up with the ballot item that voters here on South Padre will be seeing when they go to City Hall to vote. Big vote coming up, Courtney, and why is this vote so important for the island? Well, it's extremely important for the island. This is a venue tax. I think it's really important to understand this is a hotel occupancy tax. It's not a tax on the residents in any way. And if this 2% tax passes here on the island, it will generate somewhere in the neighborhood of $2 million a year. A really important thing about this venue tax although it is part of the hotel occupancy tax, it's a little bit different because there are very, very strict rules through the state about what we can do with a, the regular hotel occupancy tax. The venue tax, which again, is only charged on hotel stays of 30 days or less. That would be to visitors to the to island. Visitors to the island who stay in our hotels or condos for 30 days or less. Can, can go for a number of other things. They are, the proposition actually on the, on the ballot mentions some things that might be considered. A parking facility, goodness knows we have plenty of parking problems here. Especially some, here at the entertainment district. Es especially. Valley and South Texas, and people come and they have a hard time finding parking in the entertainment district. So elevated parking garage is one of the items on the ballot. That's one of the items. There are several others, um, including a, a better access for our both visitors and residents who enjoy that what we call the silent water sports, the kiteboarding and windsurfing and kayaking to give them better access to the bay. So that, those are some of the things. Stephanie, uh, you're more of a citizen. Courtney was at one time a member of the city council. Yes. You're a citizen participant and advocate for this, this ballot item. Uh, at City Hall here in South Padre Island. Why is it important, for, in your opinion, for the citizen to go vote? Because South Padre Island generates somewhere between 70 to 75 percent of the occupancy tax that's collected in Cameron County. And I feel that since we collect the vast majority of the money, that the money should be spent to enhance South Padre Island so that we can attract more visitors, so that we will have more occupancy tax. So is your view that money spent on the island, collected on the island, needs to be stay on the island, and the determination on how those funds are going to be spent needs to be determined by the city of South Padre Island? Yes. And not the county, Cameron County Commissioner's Court. Correct. I mean, even with Port Isabel and Laguna Vista, we're all kind of intertwined. The people that come here to stay usually will shop at HEB or Walmart, and the people in Laguna Vista, a lot of them will work here or they come out here to visit. So, I mean, for all of us in this area, right here in the local area, I think that the money should be spent to enhance the opportunities for our visitors. Now, Election Day is going to be this coming Tuesday, November the 8th. You particularly have already voted, so explain to the voters uh, what you would like them to do when they go into City Hall. Downstairs is going to be the City of South Padre Island ballot place, and then they'll go upstairs to vote for the Cameron County. And you're obviously thinking and telling and explaining to the audience and hoping that they will vote yes on the proposition, hot tax, venue tax, and the, and, the, and the downstairs voting place, and then go upstairs and vote no on the Cameron County vote. It's, yes, as a resident of South Padre Island, 
I believe it is in our best interest that when you come in the door, you'll see the South Padre Island ballot, which only has one item on there, and that's the venue tax, and that you, you vote yes there. And then when you go upstairs, or in the case, this, the, they only have the um, national election early voting this week, and then they're going to be moving that. So when you vote for the national election, I would prefer that you vote no for their two propositions as far as the county having control of the venue tax. So the Camden County proposition is number one, and the, and the South Padre Island proposition is the only proposition on the ballot. Now, Dennis Stahl has already been reelected by virtue of not having an opponent. Right. And Ron Pitcock is a new council member, but also he had no opposition. So Correct. those two council persons are already elected by basically by acclamation because there was no opponent. I think a real important thing to, to point out to our voters here is that the state places a 17% cap on what the total hotel occupancy tax can be. We are currently at 14.5% and are asking to raise it by 2 The county is asking to raise it by 2%. You know, we both can't win that money because that would take us above that 17% cap. So. This is truly an opportunity of a lifetime. If we're not successful this time, we most likely would never have the opportunity again. So I strongly encourage anyone who votes on South Padre Island to be sure that you do vote downstairs at City Hall and you will be voting for the proposition. And then go upstairs on the county ballot and vote no on Proposition 1 because there obviously is going to be some conflict in how it's going to be resolved either by litigation or where the court will just basically say, you know what, this is the right thing to do and let the dollars remain on South Padre that are collected on South Padre to go into doing things that need to be done to bring people to the island, increase the tourism level, and other kinds of things. What are some of the things that are on the ballot? And they must be mentioned on the ballot, otherwise the money can't be spent. What are some of the things, Courtney, that have been placed on the ballot by council and by the community in large during your outreach of your citizens committee that went around and talked to the citizens here on South Padre, other than the elevated parking garage that's so important to the local community because they can't get parking when they come to the entertainment district, which is where we are here in Louis. Uh, some of the other things include some improvements to Padre Boulevard itself, some beautification of Padre Boulevard itself. Uh, it also includes some possible changes made to the convention center. But everything on there is, is a possibility. Not necessarily will everything be done, nor would everything be done right away. Because first of all, we need a year to collect the $2 million. Second of all, $2 billion, unfortunately, doesn't go that far all by itself. So time would be spent holding meetings with citizen groups so that they could give their input to say where their priorities lie. And then ultimately, it would be our city council that would make the decision about what's the first project and how we'll go about it. This reporter making rounds here on the island and talking to citizens, we have totally been unable to find anyone who talked in favor of the county's proposition and wanted to not necessarily vote in favor of the South Padre Island 2% add-on venue tax to the hotel occupancy tax. So we don't have anybody to speak negative. You want to round out the program so the, so the individuals watching who are influencers are going to vote here on South Padre Island can understand what you want them to do. I would just say again, as a resident of South Padre Island for the past 20 years, I believe that South Padre Island should have control of the funds that are generated through any additional venue tax that is added. So I urge you residents to vote yes for the South Padre Island venue tax. And I would also suggest that you would vote, vote no for the Cameron County tax as the two cannot exist at the same time. Two polling positions here, both at South Padre Island City Hall. Downstairs is where you vote if you're a citizen and resident of South Padre Island. Upstairs is where you would vote as a resident of Cameron County. Proposition one by Cameron County is something that these individuals here before you 
State Citizens Committee of South Padre Island who put together this ballot item and had outreach to the community. Both have indicated they would prefer that citizens of South Padre keep the money that's raised on the island here on the island, determined by the island is where that's going to be spent. Vote well, yes downstairs and no upstairs. Anything last minute you want to say yeah, to the The audience? last thing I would say is to remind everybody that we only have one business on South Padre Island. We only have one industry, and that is tourism. So that's where our focus has to be. And anything we can do to improve this as an attractive place with interesting things to see and do for people that are considering traveling here, it's better for all of us. South Padre Island, the tourism mecca of the golden goose, is laying the golden egg of economic development and prosperity here throughout the entire South Texas, northern Mexico region. We'll be back with more of where we think you might ought to go and you think you might ought to vote on Meet the Candidates version of Ron Whitlock Reports as we face Election Day, Tuesday, November the 8th. We'll be back in a moment. You know what's wrong with this country? Not really. We have big problems. Here we go again. Taxes, education, healthcare, immigration, the jobs, laws, good laws, bad laws. Are you hearing me? Stop. Are you registered to vote? No, I'm not registered to vote, but I have a voice, a loud voice. Act Now would like to remind you that if you do not vote, you have no voice. No one is listening to me. What happened? He lost his right to complain. At IBC Bank, we're focused on one thing, doing more for you. That means giving you more options for how you bank, more options where you bank, and more options when you bank. But doing more means offering you more than just banking. From your home to your retirement, IBC offers a whole financial package tailored to your lifestyle and needs and available when and where you want it. That's doing more, and we're doing it every day. We're IBC. Hello, I'm Mackenzie Stanton, your virtual tour guide here at Louie's Backyard on beautiful South Padre Island. As you're making your entertainment plans, whether it's a business lunch or dinner, engagement party, rehearsal dinner, reception, or holiday celebration, Louie's Backyard is here to show you what real island hospitality is all about. Louie's is a unique venue for any event you may be planning. Our waterfront dining area is the perfect space to enjoy the beautiful Texas weather. The patio is right on the Laguna Madre and boasts the best sunsets. For a spectacular night of food, drinks, entertainment, and great island hospitality, call Louie's Backyard and we'll be sure to make your night a memorable one.